Hi guys, it's Andrew Fizekis, the Night Sky Guy, here to tell you all about the Mercury Transit. What it is, when it's happening, and how you can actually find it in the sky on Monday, November 11th. So, the Mercury transit is really all about the Earth, Mercury, and the Sun coming in a perfect alignment. Now, this is a pretty rare event. It only happens about 13 to 14 times a century. The last time we saw Mercury going in front of the Sun, sailing silently across the face of our Sun, was in May of 2016. And it was an amazing sight. And we hope that the same thing will happen once again, pending, of course, clear skies. Mercury doesn't go in front of the sun very frequently. That's because its orbit is inclined by about seven degrees from Earth's. So therefore, uh, it usually sails above the sun or below the sun from our vantage point here on Earth. But 13 or 14 times a century, we get to see it. Now this particular transit is really interesting because it will be the last one visible anywhere on Earth until the year 2032. Then there'll be another one in 2039. However, those will be visible in the Eastern Hemisphere and folks in the Western Hemisphere, like in North America and South America, will have to wait until the year 2049, that's 30 years, for the next Mercury transit. For, so for many of us, this might be the actual last time we might have a chance to see the innermost planet sail across the disk of the sun. So when does this happen? It's occurring on November 11th in the morning hours uh, and in the daytime, middle of the day for most of North and South America. They have the prime viewing spot. This is all visible throughout the Western Hemisphere. So even in most of Europe and uh, parts of Africa will get to see this. However, if you're in uh, most of Asia and Australia in the Pacific Basin, unfortunately, you will be out of luck for this transit because it will be happening in your nighttime, unfortunately. So you will have to wait until the year 2032 to get your chance to see it. But the best seats in the house are probably in the eastern part of North America and South America because you'll get to see it from beginning to end. It'll last five and a half hours. It takes five and a half hours for the silhouette of Mercury, this little tiny dot, to move across the face of the sun. And that's what you will see is a tiny dot really tiny, moving across the face of the sun. It starts at 7.35 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it finishes at 1.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so you can make your conversions to your time zones, and I'll have those time zones listed below in the comment section, so you can convert it for wherever you are around the world. Now, what do you need to actually see this event? Well, you can't see it with the naked eye. And it, by the way, it is very dangerous to look at the sun without a proper eye protection. You risk permanent eye damage. So never look at the sun with the naked eye or through a telescope or binoculars without any safety uh, solar filters attached to it. Mercury is about one 200th as large as the disk of the sun. So it's so tiny that the human eye can't pick up such a small dot without magnification. So the best bet will be binoculars or telescopes, which will give you enough magnification to see that tiny dot. If you've got solar filters that can attach to the tip of your telescope at the front end of the telescope, that will be your best bet in terms of seeing it safely. Or the same goes with binoculars. If you've got um, these solar filters that attach in the front end, it gives you that safety, the protection you need for your eyes to see the sun safely and watch that little silhouette of Mercury. Now, 
if you don't have uh, uh, solar filters, then you can use what's called a projection method to use to watch the, the transit. And this is very easy to do. You can use a pair of binoculars, uh, put it on a tripod, or perhaps uh, prop your binoculars on uh, some books, a pile of books. Do not look through the binoculars, obviously, but then you can uh, cut out two circles uh, in a piece of cardboard and place it in the front end of your binoculars to block out sunlight and then project the image of the sun on a second cardboard uh, behind the pair of binoculars. And you can really clearly see that little dot of mercury uh, through this projection method. You could do the same thing if you have a small telescope, maybe dusting away in a closet and you haven't used it yet. This is a great way to, to see an amazing celestial event. Again, never look through uh, an, uh, your telescope or binoculars without a solar filter. It's very dangerous. Always stay near your telescope if you have children when you're doing this so you can uh, make sure nobody accidentally looks through the telescope or binoculars. And don't keep the telescope bin and bin binoculars pointed at the sun for any particular long length of time, more than a few minutes at a time, you might actually uh, damage the optics. Uh, it might heat up very quickly because of the heat of the sun being focused into the uh, in, inside the telescope and binocular. Of course, if you have one special note, if you have those eclipse glasses, perhaps you saved them from the 2017 solar eclipse that those of you who were in North America saw the total eclipse. Well, those are useless. Do, they're not gonna give you any magnification that you need to see Mercury because it's too small. And don't even try to put those, those glasses in front of binoculars or telescopes. Highly dangerous. They will not protect you and can really cause eye damage. You risk that. So this is something you have to be very careful of. If you don't have clear skies, then you can still enjoy the Mercury transit online. So you can check out my friends at virtualtelescope.eu. They will be live streaming the uh, transit uh, from beginning to end, run by my friend Gianluca Massi. Big shout out to him. And you can check that out uh, at virtualtelescope.eu. I'll have a link in the comment section below. And uh, also NASA. It's a wonderful solar watching satellite, the uh, Solar Dynamic Observatory, SDO, which orbits the sun and keeps watching the sun 24 seven, will be looking at the Mercury transit from this very unique perch in space and through different waves, wavelengths of light. So that will produce beautiful footage, probably very similar to what we saw in 2016, the last Mercury transit, check that out stream. I'll have links for that below as well. So with that, thank you so much for taking a few moments of your time joining me here on my YouTube channel. If you like this video and you like my other videos, check out my other videos on seeing Uranus, meteor showers, space news. It's all right here for you. I bring it to you every week. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next video. Thanks so much for watching and clear skies. Bye-bye.